most welcome to lecture number 8 of my series on visual complex analysis. In this video, basically we will discuss about the definition of continuity and differentiability for a function of a complex variable. Before you start watching this video, you must finish watching my video on limit of a function of a complex variable. If you have not watched that, the link is in the description below. Let us start with uh, the function f z is equals to z square when z is not equals to i and equals to 0 when z is equal to i. In my previous video on limits of a function of a complex variable, I showed you that limit z tends to i if z, that means for this function, the limit as z approaches to i will be equal to minus 1. Uh, now, let us see first, under this function f, what will be the image of the unit circle in z plane? So, let us uh, uh, draw the unit circle in z-plane first. Let us consider this is my z-plane and this is my w-plane. That means the co-domain plane. And the yellow circle is the unit circle in this z-plane. That means uh, any point z on this circle can be represented by z is equals to e to the power i theta and uh, z equal to i will be the point and z equals to i will be the point this one. So, this will be my point z equals to i. So, this is my point z equals to i. Uh, fine. Uh, this is the scenario what is happening in z-plane. I have considered a, an, an unit an unit circle. So, this point is my, this point is my 1, 0. And if I consider any point, say any, any z here, if I consider any z here, then uh, if the angle is theta, then we know that this z is, will be equal to e to the power i theta. The radius is 1, so r e to the power i theta means simply e to the power i theta. Now, uh, the point is, let us see what will be the image of this circle in w plane. Okay, fine. Uh, since z is equal to e to the power i theta, z square will be equal to e to the power i into 2 theta. That means, uh, all such z square will also lie on a circle of radius 1, because here also, uh, this is 1 into e to the power i theta, so r is 1, and here also r will be 1. So, this will also be 1 into e to the power i theta. So, this can also be written as equal to 1 into e to the power i into 2 theta. So, the same. But remember, uh, the angle gets doubled. Here, our angle is theta, but here our angle is 2 theta. So, the argument of each point will get doubled. So, uh, let us let us have a unit circle in W plane also. Okay. Uh, let this be uh, my unit circle in uh, W plane. Uh, then let us see, let us see what will be the image, what will be the image of this circle, means any point on the circumference of the circle in Z plane or the whole circle, what will be the image of the whole circle in z plane, what will be the image of that circle in w plane under the function f, under this function f. Let us see what will be the image. So, first of all, uh, if I consider, say, this point z, can you tell me where this point z will lie? Exactly here the argument is theta, so z will lie on, on a point, say, double, where the argument will be doubled. So, uh, if this is theta, maybe somewhere like this, z will lie. So, this will be my uh, image of this pink point, z. Now, let us consider another point. Say when z, if I consider this as my z. So, where the image will lie? Again, the argument will get doubled. So, maybe somewhere like this. 
if we consider any point say this is my uh, this is uh, sorry let us use a different color say if this is if this is my this is my z so similarly again the argument will get doubled so the image will be somewhere like this now if this is my z if this one is my z sorry let us use a different color if this one is my z if this one is my z so clearly again the if if i consider this as my z this as my z that means this angle will get doubled so uh find somewhere like this maybe okay if if i change again if say this is my z say if this one is my z then what will happen then clearly again the angle will get doubled so maybe somewhere like this uh, again if i change if i change again if i say this one is my z so the image will come somewhere like this again if i say this one is my z so the image will come much closer to this so somewhere like this that means you can understand that whenever 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 uh, a z uh, approaches to to say uh, i from any of the sides maybe z approaches to i in this way or whenever z approaches to i in this way whatever be the approach path on the circumference of the circle your fz always your F, fz always approach to the point your fz always approach to the point this one this one and this is the point say w equal to minus one so whenever your z approaches to i from any of the sides i mean from any of the path being on the circumference of the circle using any of the path on the circumference of the circle your image always tends to be uh, at uh, tends to to be to, to to reach approaches to minus one that is the case uh, now again again if i consider a different point completely say if i consider this point so then if this is the point where the uh, uh, image will be the image will be somewhere like this so in this way that means the uh, the thing that I want to say is, you if you pick up any point, if you pick up any point on the circumference of this circle, if you pick up any point on the circumference of this circle, apart from z equal to i, apart from z equal to i, if you pick up any point on the circumference of the circle, then you can see that uh, the image will be exactly, uh, the image will be the image will be uh, a, a, another a point a point on the on the on this circle of w plane so any point lying on this circle if you choose you you will get an image the image will be any point on the circle of this w plane apart from the point z equals to i can you tell me what will be the image of this z equals to i absolutely correct the image of z equals to i as per this definition because this definition says when z is equal to i if z is equal to zero so the image of this point z equals to i will be the origin this so now if i draw only the image of this uh, uh, of this circle in z plane of the of the of the unit circle in z plane can you tell me what will be the image okay let us draw only the image so this that means under under the uh, function f the image of this yellow circle in z plane will be uh, this yellow circle in w plane excluding the point w equal to minus 1 because w equal to minus 1 means this point this green crossed point will not be in my image excluding this point w equal to minus 1 and including the point origin means if this is origin if i mark this as o including o so the image of this circle the image of this circle will be geometrically i'm again repeating the image of this circle will be uh, if i say if i name this circle as c if i name this circle as c prime then the image of c then i can write f of c will be equal to 
this circle C prime minus the point minus 1 union the origin 0. So if I if I denote by C and C prime, so this is the case which is happening. Now the point to observe is if I ask you, uh, can you draw the image of this circle C under F? That means can you draw FC continuously or without lifting the pen from your copy? Can you draw FC? The answer is of course no. You have to lift your pen from your copy to draw it or the image is not in one piece or the image is not continuous. Now, any kind of function which has uh, uh, this kind of which, which, uh, which makes this kind of a phenomena with the image is known as a discontinuous function. So, any function which has this kind of a property is called a discontinuous function. And eventually, if we see, uh, if we go back, if I scroll up, if I scroll up, then I will see that here, limit of z tends to i fz equals to minus 1, but that is not equal to the value of f at i because the value of f at i is 0. So, that means what is the scenario that is happening here? Limit of z tends to i fz is not equals to f of i. And eventually, we can see that when we apply this function on a particular uh, 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 say curve, say here the curve is a unit circle. When I apply this kind of a thing on a particular curve, we eventually see that uh, my uh, image is not a continuous object. The image becomes a discontinuous object. So, these kind of functions are, are known as discontinuous function and that means eventually you can understand what will be a continuous function. A continuous function will be where your image is a continuous uh, 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 means object. You can you can you can draw it one stroke, draw it in you can draw that kind of an image without lifting the pen from your copy. That means in one go you can draw it. So the definition of a continuous function is is something like this. Uh, let fz be defined and single valued in a neighborhood. Let fz be defined and single valued in a neighborhood of z equals to z0. Uh, uh, the neighborhood, you know that uh, a neighborhood of z0 will be defined as a delta neighborhood of z0 is defined as n delta z0 is, is symbolically written as n delta z0. Now, what is the meaning of, of a neighborhood? For that, you have to refer my previous video. Let fz be defined and single valued in a neighborhood. Say I am denoted, I have denoted here by n delta z0. Now, this function fz is said to be continuous at z equals to z0 if limit z tends to z0 if z is equals to f of z0. That means when the limiting value at a particular point is same as the functional value. Now note that this implies three conditions which must be met in order that fz be continuous at z equals to z0. What are the three conditions? Uh, three very natural conditions. So first one has to be this limit must exist. The first one is limit z tends to z0 fz uh, uh, must exist. If the limit does not exist, we, 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 there is no question of having equality or like that. Number two is the functional value must exist at that point. If z0 must exist, if z0 must exist, that means f is defined at z0, the function has to be defined at z0. And number three, the two has to be equal. That means uh, 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 limit z tends to z0 f z is equal to f of z0. So, whenever we need the function to be uh, to be continuous, uh, these three things need, uh, must happen. This is quite natural. So, this is the formal definition of continuity. Now, mm, now actually, uh, equivalently if f is f z is continuous, equivalently if f z is continuous, uh, at, at a point, say, z equals to z0, 
and and if this happens then we say that the function f is continuous at z equals to z0 if this happens then we say that the function is continuous at z equals to uh, z0 and we say that a function is continuous everywhere if it is continuous at every point in the in the domain of definition hmm. if if it is continuous at every point in the domain of the definition now equivalently if fz is continuous at z0 we can write in suggestive form that if if fz is continuous at z0 we can write in suggestive form that limit z tends to z0 if z is equal to f of limit z tends to z0 z in suggestive form we we also we also can write this so this is about the definition of continuity uh, so uh, if if you have a function fz which is single valued in a neighborhood of z equals to z0 as well as at at z equals to z0 mm -hmm. this is not a deleted neighborhood then we say that the function is continuous if these are continuous at z equals to z0 if these three conditions occur if these three condition occur we say the f is continuous f is continuous at z equals to z0 and if the function is continuous at every point in the domain of definition we say that it is continuous everywhere or simply we say f is continuous so this is about continuity um, uh, uh, mathematically and uh, as per as per mathematical symbols and as per geometry this is what continuity means now let us uh, define or let us see what differentiability means for a function of a complex variable let us quickly recollect that let us quickly recollect if i have a function of a single variable if i have a function of a single variable say y equal to fx then the derivative of y equal to fx is defined as f prime x is equals to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus fx divided by h uh, that means the ratio of the change in the functional value to to the change uh, in the in the uh, in uh, in the in the independent variable uh, change in y value uh, 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 divided by change in x value when the change in x value is arbitrarily small that is the definition and geometrically we interpret this as if my curve y equal to fx is is something like this if my curve y equal to fx is something like this and say if i try to find out the derivative at say x equal to x0 which is a which is a point something like this say if i try to find out the derivative at this point x equal to x0 then we know that this is nothing but the slope of the tangent this is nothing but the slope of the tangent that passes through this particular point x equal to x0 as a quick revision now let us see here what do we mean by differentiability of a function of a complex variable let us see what do we mean by that uh, now let fz is a single valued function in some region r let fz is a single valued function in some region r in some region r uh, of the of the z plane uh, the derivative of fz is defined as the derivative of fz is defined as f prime z is equals to limit delta z tends to 0 f of z plus delta z minus f of z divided by delta z uh, provided this limit exists independent of the manner in which uh, this delta z tends to zero uh, for this for a clarification of this you can refer to my video on limits so uh, this is the definition of derivative provided this limit exists independent of the manner in which delta z tends to zero that means this delta z can approach to zero by any path the limit must exist uh, independent of which path uh, whichever path delta z approaches to zero 
Uh, now, if this happens, then we say that f z is differentiable at a point z. Uh, if you if you if you uh, need a particular point z zero, you plug in z equals to z zero everywhere, so you will get uh, uh, f z to be differentiable at that z zero. And we say that f z is differentiable at entire domain in the entire domain if it is differentiable at every point in the domain. So that is the thing. Now, some people write uh, h instead of delta z. It means you can write anything you wish. Either delta z or h. Uh, so this is the thing. Now, if you observe the definition of derivative for a function of one real variable, then you see almost they are analogous. But the problem is the entire geometry will change here. Whereas you can understand in complex plane, we cannot plot function in this way. So now if we think if we try to find out what geometrically this 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 means or what is the geometric interpretation of this definition so let us plot it let us plot fz for 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 any f for an arbitrary f let this be my z plane the domain plane and this be my w plane the co-domain plane uh, let us consider uh, this be my point z Okay, uh, so, uh, we, we use a z to denote a variable point. Since it is a fixed point, uh, let us, let us uh, name this as z0. Let this be my uh, fixed point z0. Uh, let us give a small increment delta z to this z0. And as a result, let us suppose that uh, the point moves to this place. So that means I'm saying this point is uh, my z0 plus delta z. That means, that means this will be my delta z. So this. Uh, now let us see uh, what will happen with the images. So what will be the image of z0 and the image of z0 plus delta z? That will strictly depend on what is my function. But for the sake of uh, sake of discussion, let us consider uh, uh, that uh, something as the image, so that we can proceed with the discussion. Say, for example, uh, let let uh, the image of z zero say w zero. W zero will be will be say something like this. W zero will be say something like this. Say this is my w zero. W zero. And uh, say um, say. Uh, the image of z0 plus delta z, say that is I am denoting by w0 plus delta w, say that is something like, uh, say that is arbitrary, totally arbitrary, something like this. So this, say this is my w0 plus delta w. That means that is actually I am talking about f of z0 plus delta z and this is f of uh, z zero. Uh, let us uh, name this point by p. So uh, I'm naming this point as p prime. Let us call this point q. So I'm calling this point as q prime. So this. That means okay. One more thing comes. One more thing comes. That is, uh, this will be. This will be my delta w. That will be equal to nothing but f of z0 plus delta z minus f of z0 so that is the thing so that is the thing this is the entire geometry so now can you tell me can you tell me uh, the derivative of f at z0 denoted by f dash z0 is defined as a limit delta z tends to 0 f of z0 plus delta z minus f of z0 if i plug in z equals to z0 in the above formula divided by delta z so can you tell me in this uh, this geometric representation what is represented by this formula you have everything in front of you so what is represented by this formula pretty simple pretty simple this limit is the ratio uh, q prime p prime to Q P to Q P Q prime 
p prime 2 qp and this limit delta z tends to 0 that means this delta z here tends to 0 that means i can say uh, this whole thing the definition of a prime z represents a ratio q prime p prime 2 qp as the point q approaches to the point p delta z tends to 0 means this q will approach to p or this p will approach to q anything you you wish you can say so this means this p will approach to q as the as 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 it or q and p comes close to each other if we think in that way so what is meant by this derivative or the definition uh, geometrically what is what is meant by this kind of a limit or 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 the derivative at a point z equals to z0 the derivative is actually a ratio of this to this when in the domain the two points p and q are coming close to each other that is uh, that interpretation uh, that is the geometric interpretation of derivative and this this will hold if you plug in any other point z in place of z0 so this is how we can visualize uh, uh, the derivative of a function of a complex variable which is unlike the case of derivative of a function of a real variable so if your function is a function of one real variable then you know that your interpretation of derivative will be like this but if it is a function of a function of um, uh, one complex variable a complex variable your interpretation of derivative should be like this so this is geometrically how to understand derivative